All right, but, so what I'll do, I'll try to explain this quick little story of what happened. Because I want, definitely everybody showed up to meditate, so we want to honor that and make sure it happens. But what happened for me was very powerful, and I decided a few days after that I was going to share it because it's medicine, and it'll help people. So before I get into that, this is kind of how it started. Or this is kind of like really valuable to know, which is when we are born into this world, into these bodies, at some point we become aware that we're having cycles, right? Like our path or our journey through the, ro the world, there's like these cycles that keep happening. And the more we're paying attention to it, the more we recognize, okay, wow, that's a cycle everything it's all cycles and cycles and cycles and spinning so just like we have these experiences in this world of going through all these circles so too does this energy field this innate intelligence this life force which we all are like that's what is really going on that is our soul it is literally our soul and it has been through countless cycles that so far exceed anything that we go through in this world, in this life, in these bodies, not to not validate any of that. Like we're here doing what we're meant to do, whether we realize it or not. But when we get calm, we start to tune in to this energy field. And suddenly we start to remember things, epiphanies or revelations or act, uploads, downloads, activations, initiations, whatever you want to call it. Everybody has their own different way of perceiving it. But when you get in tune with that, you begin to remember that you've been around way longer than this right here. And the more you tune into that, the more these cycles of the very life force that we are, the soul, the more you start to remember. The more you remember, the more you're able to take everything that you've experienced in this world and synchronize it to your consciousness, right? Your heartbeat, your brain, everything's in tune. And you start to remember Yes, Lori just said we're eternal. And remembering that, because most people don't even understand their own life force, right? And like in this world, we don't even, we're not taught to focus on our life force. But that life force is who and what we really are. Or you could say it's what we really are. And who we think we are is an extension of it. Like, we wouldn't even think, like, oh, I'm Seth, this is my life, this is what I do. None of that would be happening, obviously, if this life force wasn't here. And so when we take attention away from all the addictions to all the stress and belief systems and everything, we start to become aware that this life force has its own journey. And the more we tune into that, the more our purpose here in this world starts to manifest and become self-evident so with that said just basically keeping in mind that the soul has infinite journeys beyond this one life that we're in but i was dealing with a lot just like we all do and we live in a world that has been very toxic for a while and now it's like globally detoxifying and it's not pretty you know, have you ever done cleanses in your body? You see all the stuff that comes out of you. It's, it can be a lot. You got to rest. You got to take time to heal. You got to like really, really be committed. And so the amount of toxicity, and I'm not talking about just like physical garbage and vomit and body fluids. I'm more referring to this life force and how it connects to all of the artificial and unnatural energies, which come out as belief systems, thoughts, beliefs, behaviors, actions, the way we interact with our own body, the way 
that interacts with this world, it's totally out of sync with the natural energy that we all are. And so I was stressed out. I was going through stuff. I've been involved with, we all have, but I was dealing with some people who are very difficult like really difficult and really you know you think you know people and you think you trust them and it's like most they're just not there yet but when you realize that then you start to have empathy because they're doing the best they can even if they don't realize it you know so all that was going on and then i start having all these memories all this stuff started like flooding into my awareness and I was feeling sick, you know, I was like on the verge, I was going to go throw up in my toilet. And I have two amazing roommates that are here with me right now, two brothers that are amazing. And they heard it, you know, they, and they came in and they're like, just trying to help. Like, what can we do? Cause I'm like, so knocked off balance that I was like really, really struggling with it. And so they brought over like a little, trash bucket in case i needed to throw up and i didn't really have, i just started going out and i could sense all these entities and frequencies and things around and it made me just totally like it was more than i could handle and so i passed out but as i was passing out there was still the awareness of everything that was happening and as i was no longer conscious of my body or here I went into this place, and I don't know why, the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, which I don't, I've heard of it, but I don't ever think about it, started having these visions of these two different people that are going through this experience now. It wasn't in the past, wasn't in the future, it was happening right now. And one of them got shot and killed, and the other ran, went away that's not me i don't know who that is but it was as real as this is right now this space that we're all sharing together and then a few hours went by and after i'm like living all this i have languages in my head that i don't even speak i have all these memories of two people simultaneously like talk about duality like this is all happening at the same time and one of them died and the other made it. And when I finally came out of it, I got up and it was like totally back, totally normal. I looked on my phone and somebody had text messaged me and said that there was an accident and six kids got hurt really bad near here. And a dear family member, two of their cats died. One had died before, and then one just died that night. And so when I came back to that, and I realized, like, what had happened, I knew that I went into, like, a sacrifice mode. And I had to confront things that are really intense, because here's reality. Everything that we experience in this world Everything that we go through isn't accidental. It is so in tune. And unless somebody is born as a bodhisattva, you could say, or a saint, someone's born, they remember what it was all about, and now they're here only to serve. And they don't need to take on the pains that we all experience in these bodies. Except for those types of beings, those types of individuals, the rest of us are here to feel what it's like to go through really intense things. But even if somebody is a bodhisattva or a saint or a Christ-like figure, anybody, anybody that is like revered or known to be so in tune with this divine life force that we all are and everything is, even if somebody doesn't have their own karma and troubles and issues that happen in this world, they are still feeling the collective field 
that our entire species has created since antiquity, all of our ancestors, everything that has ever happened is coming. It took us, everybody ever related to us is what we came from here now, just for us to be here. Can you imagine like what all our ancestors went through and everything that happened and it came here? So my point is, there is a collective pain body, call it. And that is here. And even if somebody has processed all their own stuff and they're here only to serve, to give their attention to helping our entire species, it can be intense. So with that said, I came back and that was it. I went into immediate warrior mode, meaning I'm not going to tread lightly on anybody or anything. If people are mistreating me or others or power trips or doing things to children, I'm sorry. It's time to be called out. It's time to shut that down. All of this behavior, all of these addictions to who we think we are and people who just live their lives and they're abusive because they don't know anything else. Time to be so sure of yourself, of your miraculous life force, that even if you don't realize it, it's still a miracle. When we get in tune with that and we're convicted to being the best version of ourselves in this world, and here's the thing, the experience the other night, more than anything, it reminded me how protected I am in this world. And anybody who goes to meet this life force that they are as it extends into infinity, when you meet that and you connect with it, you're doing tremendous work. And when you do that, you put yourself out there, you will be conscious that you are supported, that there are literally beings, angelic beings. There's all kinds of entities. There's tons of stuff, like from dark, evil, terrible things, all the way to the most high angelic stuff. It's all there. And when you get crystal clear that you are an agent of divinity, of here to serve the greater good of our species and be in harmony with that. Those beings that are aligned with that, they come and they support you. Yeah, Penny said, our ancestors, our spirit guides, our angels. And you know what? Like some people... You know, there's all these different belief systems or whatever. And I think every religion has different versions of all this stuff. But when you go out there and you meet that part of you and you come back into this world and you remember that, you're protected. And it allows you to become confident. You know you're empowered. You can go out in the world and just make things change and that's the beauty of all this when we create this kind of change in us then we're able to bring that out into the world and change it because we're changing from the inside out we're not using the same level of thinking and feeling that created all these problems we are choosing to connect to our life force that whether you want to call it divine or of God or all that, like that is reality. That is the news. So let's totally relax. 